Good morning friends, this is Sneha Menon. I am handling 8th standard Kerala syllabus max for you. So let's begin our new chapter. Before beginning our chapter, let's do an interesting thing. Are you ready? Okay. Now, how many currency notes you can see here? Okay, your answer will be 1, right? But actually, it is 2 currency note. Why do you say it is only 1 currency note? Yes, because I have placed 2 currency note in a particular manner such that you have visible only 1 currency note, right? So, what we say this concept? When same sized currency note or same size any shape we put together and it coincide each other, then what we call this concept? Yes, we have studied it in basic, yes, basic classes. Yes, we call it as equal, right? So, this concept we call as equality. When this same size currency note, I placed it like this. Okay. I have changed it orientation. Will it be same? No, right? So, for equality concept, when we place same shape object together and they coincide each other, then we say that objects are equal or we can say the concept called equality in maths. Now, students, can you identify this shape? Let me give you some hints. Yes, this particular shape have three sides and three angles. Then what is the name of this particular shape? Yes, it is a triangle. Right? So this triangle is different based on sides. What are the different types of triangle that you have known based on size? Yes, based on sides, there are, yes, three different triangles. What are they? Yes, one is isosceles triangle. Second, equilateral triangle. Third, it is scale and triangle. First of all, let's discuss what do you mean by equilateral triangle. If for a triangle, three sides are equal and three angles are also equal, we say it as equilateral triangle. Is it clear for you? Okay. Now, let's move on to next triangle. That is isosceles triangle. What is the peculiarity of isosceles triangle? We have studied this in earlier classes. Yes, that is two sides are equal and two angles are equal. Then we say that particular triangle as isosceles triangle. Then what about when three sides are unequal? Yes, a triangle with three sides are unequal. What we say that particular triangle? Yes, do you heard about 
scale and triangle is what is this scale and triangle it is the triangle with three sides are unequal or we can draw this particular triangle as like this right here it is 5 cm here it is 6 cm and this will be 8 cm then the sides are unequal thus we can say it is scalar triangle so i think you have known different types of triangle based on sides right now let's move on to different types of triangle based on angles okay what are the different types of triangle based on angles yes can i can you remember can you remember this particular angle yes it is a perpendicular angle right a triangle with perpendicular angle what we call yes it is we call it as right angled triangle okay so based on uh, based on angles the different types of triangle is one is right angled triangle and another one is acute angle triangle and there is obtuse angle triangle but this particular chapter only focus on right angled triangle so let's move on to our main topic when we join this equality and triangle together we will get equal triangles right so let's join our first first of all i have discussed about equality and second we have discussed about different type of triangles right we have to join this two concept together and we get your new chapter name that is equal triangles okay let's move on to our new chapter equal triangles so what do you mean by equal triangles to know this we have to do an activity take out a notebook and draw a triangle with sides 4 cm 5 cm and 7 cm okay so when we draw triangles with sides 4 cm and 5 cm and 7 cm we get different triangles like this okay when we take 4 cm as base we will get two triangles like this what about when we, when we take 5 cm as base yes we'll get two triangles like this and it comes when it comes 7 cm we get triangles like this what is the peculiarity of this different triangles yes their sides are equal right then what about its angles yes its angles also equal okay when we uh, consider this particular triangle and we take this particular triangle and flip it and place above this particular triangle we we, we can see that this two triangles coincide each other now we are considering triangles with base 4 cm okay so we need to cut out this particular two triangles in a thick paper okay okay then we will get two triangles like this right okay now these two triangles are equal triangle why because its sides are equal right yes we can say it is equal by coinciding let's let's coincide okay i am flipping okay okay 
okay that two triangles coincide each other so we can say that the triangles ha are having same sides then what about the angles what about the angles of this two triangle is it same yes of course it is same right look if this particular triangle is having 90 degree then this angle will be also 90 degree then here it is, if it is 30 degree then here it is also 30 degree then what about here if it is 60 degree here will be also 60 degree so from this concept we have obtained this uh, theorem that is if sides of a triangle is equal to sides of another triangle then the angles of that particular two particular triangles will be also same okay students i hope you have got the concept we will discuss further about equal triangles in our next video